Acidon into the fifth year, and today I'm going to do a video response to Nova Bugs Friday Force Mon gaming franchises to kill. Right, so number one, and well, I'm sure this is going to be on plenty of other people's list, is FIFA. Now, I'm not a big football fan, but that's not the real problems I have with the game as such, it's that the game's so lazy. I mean, they're just literally just doing minor updates to it, and the series has so many bad negative things about of these, and like the old ultimate team thing, the people getting their accounts hacked and having money stolen from the credit cards just because of this lone mode. Yet, they will not fix any of these problems, and it's still happening years later, and they still leave the mode in. Then there's other nonsense with the series, like... If you want a 3D, if you wanted it on the 3DS or the Vita, well, essentially all versions on them systems are the exact same game. Literally, they never did a single thing to them. Added a single mode to them. They literally even have a one level on saying Legacy Edition. And then it back says this is the same game as the previous years with updated rosters. That is all they've done. Changed a few menus and names. No gameplay has changed. Also, when it comes to really left, when it comes to the free DS version, no online multiplayer. Yet, the DS versions have that. Yeah, that's kind of lazy, isn't it? <laughs> so, yeah, I don't get And then when you go in shops, all you find in all second-hand shops and, like, huge game shops and charity shops is, like, thousands of copies of FIFA. You could probably be... The, you probably instead of selling them, you should just stack a... make a house up of them. You can make a nice big house out of how many different FIFA copies these probably lying around in used stores like no one wants. It's just, yeah, amazing how ridiculous how many used copies of that game is. But yeah, that's the reason why FIFA needs to, or at least try to actually change the thing around a bit. Well, they don't know how that's going to happen, does it, anyway, so. Right, so, number two. It has to be Metal Gear Solid. And some people like this series, I know, but here's the problems I have with it. Hideo Kojima does not understand at times what a game is supposed to be. He thinks he's making a movie. And here's the thing, I play a game to play a game. I want to watch a movie, I watch a movie. And Metal Gear Solid most of the times thinks it's a movie. Most of the games just you constantly ranting on for hours at end. About meaningless things like, Ooh, snake, there's a bone on the floor. And then you have a ten minute conversation about this bone on the floor, and only for it's second to pick up. <laughs> so it might be, some people probably enjoy this, but if me, it's boring, because most of them games is watching cutscenes, or watching stupid codec calls that make no sense, when you think about it, to go on forever. And it's supposed to be a stealth mission. Does time freeze when he's using one of these codec calls? Because sometimes he's literally talking for 10 minutes straight in the same spot and no one would notice this. <laughs> I don't think the game's ever mentioned how ridiculous that is either. But yeah, and then there's other sad things about the series. Now, Karame are so desperate with this series these days. I mean, they made a list of the top... of the, of the, of the sales of games in 2014. And the list was... Football, or oh, soccer if you're American, baseball, and Metal Gear. Yes, Metal Gear was classed as its own genre in a sales chart. That's how sad Karama has got with this series. Oh yeah, and things like Yu-Gi-Oh! and all the games, they just go on the other. Yeah, they're not important. And that's the reason why I think Metal Gear Solid should die. Karama, essentially, since 2010, I pretty much ignored the fact every single one of their other amazing game series even exists. It's like, they've thrown them away, it's like, oh yeah, we ain't gone to this series, and they might as well just come from the Metal Gear Company, because that is all they make these days, and if they ever lost that series, and Kojima left them, they'd be screwed, and really. There would nothing left, because they don't try anything else. They throw that guy's name on everything now, they'll even throw it on Castlevania once. What did he do to Castlevania? Well, he did nothing to the game, he just threw his name on it, but Lord of Shadow series were kind of pants. I don't care if he's the best selling one in the series, he's not the best, he's not what people wanted from the series who liked the series. So, yeah. Right, so, number three. The WWE games, or WWF, if you want to be old. <laughs> 
Yeah, no, a lot of people don't, well, they haven't been good for years. This is the problem. Now, they've had the same developer, Ukes, since PS1, so all the SmackDown games are like some of the most fun fighting games ever. I remember playing tons of them. I mean, the best one, and still the best one in the series is WWE SmackDown. Here comes the pain with all the insane over the top stuff, like jumping off giant the SmackDown logo for pinning people and trucks and running people over with cars and things and weapons doing no damage <laughs> to your normal punches and just driving people around on Undertaker's bike and running around in that forklift truck. Of course, absolutely none of that stuff is in the modern SmackDown games. Pretty much since 2005, they sucked all the fun out of them and tried to make these boring, say, realistic series sing games. I just don't, just, that's the reason, and most of the memories of the series is when I was playing them versions, usually with my brother who were into wrestling at the time, and, and I think I played quite a bit of them with my cousin as well, on, on YouTube called True Marvelous. <laughs> so yeah, I had great fun playing 4 player like, 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 like Royal Rumble matches and like stuff, stuff for them. Why did they remove all the best features? They literally took all the fun out of the game. This is literally since they took the background music out of matches and tried to make it more realistic, just having a crowd and a commentator. It just got boring and just sucked any fun out of the game. And there's really never been a game really since then that's been as fun as that. The closest you've got was the 360 version of Fire Pro Wrestling. That kind of reminds me of them. It's the same, same, same one of the achievements is glitched because it's impossible to play one of the mini games in the game altogether. It never shows up. <laughs> Right, and so the last one is Kingdom Hearts, and I actually like the gameplay of Kingdom Hearts, the problem is, it's Square himself are absolutely useless with the series. It's like, the story is absolutely horrendous in that series. It could have been a nice, simple series about some random kid called Sora beating up a bunch of ghost people. But no, instead when Kingdom Hearts 2 came along and made the series a, an awful convoluted mess that made no sense whatsoever. Also, it was a complete waste, I mean, really you've got this giant, you've got this massive library of Disney characters. And so, oh we have these big villains called the Organisation, so what are we going to make them look like? Random anime people wearing hoods. Why couldn't you make them all classic Disney villains from different... TV shows and movies instead. That would have been such a better idea than these boring bleach rip-offs we got. Who hog the entire game and then get their own game as well. Well, side game. But that's the biggest problem with Kingdom Hearts have is it's never going to have a good story that makes going to have a satisfying conclusion. And this is why they take too long making the games. Kingdom Hearts 2 came out in 2005. It's now 2015. We still have not got a real Kingdom Hearts 3. What takes you 10 years to make a sequel? It took so long, the entire Kingdom Hearts 3 has skipped the PlayStation 3. You think the sequel would have been on that? But no, now it's on a PlayStation 4. Oh yeah, and an Xbox One. Which is kind of weird when you think all of us were only Sony platforms, we were only Sony systems, but I don't know what that's all about. And yeah, it's just ridiculous how long they've taken making a new game in this series. So, in, so, out, so we think about it, and there's a space between 2 and 3 we've got. A prequel to the first game. A side story about some of the villain, technical sort of villains. And two like and a, and a DS and a 3DS game, which were like site, which were like just basically set before free. We don't really have anything to do with free much at all. How? And then there's the, what I'd put the strange thing about Kingdom Hearts in general. A lot of a lot of the fans don't understand the series. They all complain, with, "We don't want Disney characters in Kingdom Hearts. We want all these random Japanese characters." Here's the thing. Kingdom Hearts was created by Disney. Disney owned Kingdom Hearts. All those weird Japanese characters they made up that wasn't like Square's creating ones like Final Fantasy and other games. They're Disney characters. Which makes it strange that Disney 
just flat out ignore the series' existence. Like they just look at this and go, yeah, I mean, Japan's actually wanted to do quite a lot of things in Kingdom Hearts, and they just said, no, nope, don't want to like do that. It's like, oh yeah, we want to do a Kingdom Hearts based faggot. No, can't do that because we don't we don't want to make Mickey Mouse violent. Yeah, because Mickey Mouse will never hurt anyone in any cartoon ever made before, has he? Nope, obviously not. And then, oh, we want to make an animated series of Kingdom Hearts. He's like, nope, can't do that. This makes you wonder, they've put all this effort and all these Disney characters into the series, but Disney at the same time seem to dislike the series. And ignore the fact it even exists. And that's another reason why I think Kingdom Hearts kind of needs to die, because it's never going to have a proper star conclusion as such. And I guarantee that. Because Disney, Disney is so awkward and funny about the thing. How's it going to have an ending that makes any sense? This has got one of the, one of the big problems. It's Square that writes a story. It's probably not Disney because if Disney ran, it would make way more sense. And Disney don't really make many console games anymore. They're basically just stuck to like phones and free-to-play nonsense now. So I don't think Kingdom Hearts as a series is going to ever get a proper conclusion. Then there's also the Japanese people who are working on it said, Oh yeah, Kingdom Hearts 3 is the first part of the ch of the series. The first part of the end of the series. So yes, Kingdom Hearts 3 is going to be the end of the first chapter of the story. It took them over a decade to finish the first chapter of a story. Yeah, I really do not think this series will ever have a proper ending. Well, anyway, thank you for watching. Oh well, I mean, I mean listening. <laughs>